Yo, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. And today, as the title does say, I am going to show you how to cheese Mutt Squads with a lineup update that you guys can create, anyone can create on the internet. And um, it basically will give you uh, speed boosts, it'll give you other boosts, it'll give you, you know, whatever you really want for your Mutt Squads lineup, for your defense, for your offense, it doesn't matter which you choose, whatever you're playing with your friends, if you're like me and my buddies, you know, we have specific roles, no one plays different roles, we always play the same role, and I'm always, always the defense, so... I do want to show you guys real quick what my lineup does look like without, you know, just being a Mutt Squads lineup. This is actually the, uh, you know, offense that I've built over the course of the last couple of days. I'm still working on it. I'm still going to work on my offensive line. Uh, I'm just, you know, a full legend here away and here. And then, you know, just my right side of my line definitely needs some work. I don't really care about tight end. I do have the AJ Green that just came out. Um, you know, we have the Pierre Garçon. We have the Randy Moss full legend, Tyreek Hill, you know, Michael Vick. Uh, you know, just whatever, just a whole bunch of, you know, NAT cards as well that I can't really do anything with. Um, so we do have go deep 30 out of 30 and then balanced O is currently at 11 out of 30. So I'm not trying to really work on my offense too much, but this should be good enough. You know, if I want to do a gameplay, which I do have some gameplays recorded, I will show you guys that soon. Uh, here's my defense. If you guys are interested in that, um, just super good everywhere i mean you know we got the ryan chaser the Deion jones the jadavion Clowney, uh you know ted hendricks adrian amos rashad jones is backing him up you know we got the ronnie lot we got the diamond jalen ramsey powered up we got the champ bailey uh if you guys are interested in seeing what jalen ramsey looks like i know everyone loves jalen um he is 95 man 94 zone 99 press with 89 speed definitely a super good player and then with my redskins chemistry my past the redskins chemistry uh we do have champ bailey bumped up even more so than with just the uh, balance he's at 94 uh, man 94 zone 86 press um so you know he is worse than jalen ramsey but he's not that much worse he's pretty good uh and then we also have the bruce smith um which is pretty damn good as well with 95 power move and 94 finesse move currently on my team so we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the mutt squads cheese i know you guys are probably interested in that since that's the title of the video i just want to show you guys my real lineup before i did this so you don't think i have a whole bunch of steelers players on my offense uh so we change our active lineup to my mutt squads lineup you will notice that i have a ton of steelers players here on my team and we have it up to 24 right now out of 25. Um, once it is fully, I'm not sure who is currently not in my lineup. I guess one of my receivers. Once we have this fully chemmed out, we will be, well, not fully chemmed out, but we, we will be at 25 out of 20 or out of 40, I think, or out of 50, 25 out of 50. I still have to work on it a little bit more, um, but right now where we're currently sitting, once we have Darius Hayward Bay in the lineup, we are at 25 out of 50. And what 25 out of 50 will do for me is I will get plus one to strength, plus one to jumping, plus one to agility, plus one to excel, and plus one to speed. You guys could see that if you keep going even further, you could get a strength boost, a jumping boost, another agility boost, another excel, another strength, another speed, another agility, and another jump, and another speed, and another excel. So if you are smart about it, if you can actually you know, uh, cheese it even further and put all Steelers in your lineup, you know, every gap that's currently not filled for me with a Steelers player. If you could get a Steeler at every position or any player, it does not have to be Pittsburgh Steelers. It could be the Eagles. It could be the Cowboys. It could be the Vikings. It could be any team in the NFL. Then you could help out your cards on the other side of the ball. So I'm currently going to be playing defense on Mud Squads. So I wanted to make the Ryan Chazier as good as possible. Now we do have 25 out of 50. Again, if I really wanted to make him absolutely overpowered, I would put backup Steelers at every position, and then the Ryan Chazier, for example, instead of only being plus one to speed, he might be plus three to speed. I could get him up to 93 speed if I really wanted to. So this is what my Ryan Chazier looks like when I play Mutt Squads. I don't need to have an offense because I play the defensive side of the ball, and he's currently sitting at 91 speed with 92 excel, 88 strength, 95 tackle, 93 play rec. 85 block shed, 95 hit power, and 88 zone. So just imagine if you're building like a defense based around, 
I don't know, maybe like the 49ers players or for me, like the Redskins players. Like if you have Bruce Smith, Champ Bailey, and you have Sean Taylor, and then maybe like a Ryan Kerrigan at left linebacker, the diamond, then you could build out your Redskins chem and, you know, put a whole bunch of Redskins on offense or a whole bunch of Redskins on defense and, you know, build an offense. Like if you want to do that same thing for like, um, let's say like the Eagles and you have Michael Vick and you have, uh, you know, who else would be on the Eagles? Like a Zach Ertz. Maybe you have like some offensive linemen like Lane Johnson. Um, maybe you're using an Alshon Jeffrey. I'm not sure. Like whatever team you want to do, all you have to do on Mutt Squads is just stack one side of the ball with those players, you know, and I even have some on defense. Like I have Cody Sensible. I have this Joshua Frazier. Um, I also have LJ Fort here just chilling and, uh, Rod Woodson as well, and it helps, you know, Ryan Chase here, it helps my Rod Woodson, my Rod Woodson isn't even fully, um, you know, upgraded all the way, and he's currently sitting here at 86 speed with 87 zone, I mean, he's a nice, like, fourth corner for me, I don't really feel like upgrading him all the way, right now it costs like 500k to do that, and it's just not worth it, since I do have Champ, and I do have Jalen Ramsey, but this is a really easy way to, uh, you know, help you guys out playing Mud Squads. Like, if you really want to, you know, go all out and take it seriously and you're not really planning on playing the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball and you're just looking to play one side of the ball, then definitely just stack up cards on one side of the ball that you feel like you have either the most cards of or someone you really want to help. I obviously am doing it for Ryan Chazier just because I'm trying to be that much more of – uh, you know, trying to be that much more safe uh, while trying to go from um, Mutt Master, Ryan Shazier stats, you know, being able to get interceptions, being able to get fumble recoveries, you know, touchdowns. I need him to be that much faster, that much quicker. Just in case we get a pick, I really want to be able to just return that for a touchdown with no problem. Uh, as it stands right now at 91 speed, really the only players faster than him on the offensive side of the ball are guys like Tyreek Hill, T.Y. Hilton, and Randy Moss, and that's about it. Like, there's really nobody else faster than Ryan Shazier, and that's pretty crazy when you really think about it. A defensive card is faster than 95% of everyone's offensive players, and, uh, you know, maybe even if they don't even have Tyree Kill powered up, like, if they have the base Tyree Kill, the base Randy Moss, then it's just as fast. Like, for example, if I go ahead and throw my Randy Moss in here, we could see him here on the uh, right side, he has 91 speed, so currently, if they only have this Moss, you know, uh, even if, actually, that's powered up, so that's, they have to power it up to end up making him faster than Ryan Shazier, so if that's just normal Randy Moss, he's actually faster than Randy Moss, uh, the power-up version is the one that actually is the same speed as him, so definitely, uh, if you guys are looking to do this, it's very simple, very easy. Just go ahead and make sure you go and, you know, write down on a notepad or maybe even get a pen and paper out and write down all the positions that you're going to need. And then once you find them on the auction house, buy them and check mark them off so you know uh, that you already have them. Like, obviously, you use three tight ends, two right tackles, two right guards, two centers, two left guards, two left tackles, uh, five wide receivers. You use three running backs, two quarterbacks, and two fullbacks if you're doing it on defense. And then on, uh, if you're doing it on offense, and if you're doing it on defense here, um, two strong safeties, two left outside linebackers, three middle linebackers, two right outside linebackers, two free safeties. You could do five cornerbacks. You could do two right ends, two left ends, and then four defensive tackles. Not to mention, I forgot to say this, you could also do your kicker and your punter if you are interested in that as well. Um, I do have Jordan Berry and Chris Boswell for my Mud Squads lineup when I am doing this, and it gives me plus more, uh, plus two more to my Pittsburgh Steelers chem. Um, I'm definitely trying to figure out a way to go ahead and do even more. Like, I would love to get a strength and another jumping boost and maybe even another agility and excel. Uh, but definitely what you really want to do is work on that speed. And once you get that speed up, you know, it's very hard to, you know, contend with these guys because especially like, for example, if you were doing the Redskins, like, you know, Champ Bailey would be up two speed. Uh, Bruce Smith would be up two speed. If you had a Sean Taylor, he'd be up two speed. And then Ryan Kerrigan, you know, Ryan Kerrigan is a very, very good player. The only thing that he really lacks is his speed. So if you're able to get that up to maybe a 90, uh, I'm sorry, and maybe like an 84, like that Ryan Kerrigan would be so good. Like right now he can get as high as 80, I think, once you power him up. 
So if you were able to get that up plus three, plus four, uh, then he'd be like plus, you know, 83 speed, 84 speed. Like, that's so good for a Ryan Kerrigan. Like, that's almost like a user control player. Uh, but hopefully the video did help you guys out. I do have more videos coming out soon. We did open up a couple of flashback packs over the last couple of days, and I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, and I also will show you guys a... Um, you know, I do have some head-to-head -head games, not mud squats, head-to-head -head games that I played where uh, my team is just super good. It's so hard to stop and uh, so hard to, you know, move the ball on, obviously, because the defense is so good. So if you guys want to see that, please go ahead and give the video a like. Also, we have primetime performers out right now. If I'm able to pull one, I'll upload a video, but it's not looking very good. I already spent, like, I don't know. 50k on get a gold player packs not really looking too good uh you know if if i end up pulling one though you'll see a video but until next time guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button give the video a like if it helped you guys out i will upload more videos about mutt squads and more cheese type videos uh on how to make your lineup better in the future so be sure to subscribe for that and i will uh, talk to you guys later peace